Welcome to Vermont Fish and Wildlife's Invasive Species Program LEAP. These videos and accompanying web pages will help you to locate, identify, evaluate and treat, and prevent the spread of these invasive species. This video covers water chestnut. Water chestnut has been in Vermont since the 1940s. It was initially confirmed in Lake Champlain. There are still populations of water chestnut in Lake Champlain. Most of those are now relegated to the southern half of the lake. It's also found in a few other inland water bodies, most of them pretty close to Lake Champlain. Water chestnut's a very unique looking plant. And once you've seen it uh, one time, you'll have a good idea of, of what it looks like. The plants grow from the bottom of a, a lake or pond or river system from a seed and grow up to the surface. And once they get to the surface, they form what's called a rosette, which is a circular pattern of small leaves that look very similar to, to birch leaves. And if you grab that rosette and you pull it up, you'll see these very sharp, uh, almost medieval looking weapon type seeds um, that are the actual chestnuts. And if you pull it up further, you also see a really complex root system leading from the top of the plant, the rosette, down to the, the seed in the sediment. Water chestnut grows very rapidly, uh, gets to the surface very quickly, much quicker than most of our native plants. The densities on the surface can also be incredibly dense. This has a couple of impacts. Number one, it outcompetes any other plants in that system. And anywhere you have very dense water chestnut populations, you probably don't have much other plant life living below them. Also, because the mats can be so thick, it can actually create a much warmer area of water underneath the plants that also um, may be very low in oxygen, so it has effects on other aquatic life uh, in that way. Unlike many of our aquatic invasive plants, water chestnut can be managed through means other than harsh chemical usage. One of the most effective ways is actually uh, physical harvest, uh, hand pulling. And this often takes years and years of going back to the same location and, and continuing to pull out plants because the seeds can be viable in the substrates for over a decade. However, um, and in Vermont, this has been effective in, in knocking back water chestnut from where it had, had been in Lake Champlain. To prevent the spread of water chestnut, you should make sure that no water chestnut seeds are stuck to you, your gear, your dog, when leaving a water body that might be infested with water chestnut before going to another. Um, however, as a agency, uh, we also look to limit those source populations because waterfowl can also transport water chestnut seeds. And so actively managing, whether it's through hand pulling or other efforts, those populations just so that they don't serve as a source population for another area um, is another way to stop the spread of the species. For more information about water chestnut, contact Vermont Fish and Wildlife.